ladies, it's Veronica Guabrino back again from Mullica Hill, New Jersey. And this is week two for Side Dish. And um, I'm just showing you all the things I'm going to be making for my Easter Day brunch. And now I'm going to make for you, it's sofrito potato pancakes with Asiago cheese stuffed in the middle. And this is going to blow your mind how good this is. Now Italians use pesto, Spanish like sofrito, and sofrito has green peppers, onions, cilantro, garlic, olive oil, and so like I said, we're gonna use sofrito. I bought the hash brown potatoes. They're not wet, you don't have to um, shred them yourself. They're so much easier. Two eggs, you like my variety of Philadelphia cream cheese. I'm using the regular um, original Philadelphia cream cheese. Of course butter, who doesn't love butter? We're gonna fry these in salt pork, which will make this amazing. Here's our Asiago cheese. As if I don't like cheese, hello, look how big this brick is. I just went shopping for cheeses yesterday. <laughs> and in two days, this will be gone with me and my kids and my husband. It's, it's a terrible thing in this house. Flour. So let's get started. Break two eggs. Did I lose a shell? I hope not. Mix that up. Throw that into the potatoes. Two tablespoons of flour. Two heaping tablespoons of this sofrito. Mix this up really well, as you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna add a little bit more of that flour just to burn this a little bit. So it's actually four tablespoons. Sorry. Okay, so that's a good consistency. And now, set that aside. You're going to put a half a cup of vegetable oil or canola oil, whatever one you have in the house. And start that on a medium high heat. And we're going to get ready to fry up some salt pork. Mm -hmm. Okay, so cut down into small cube sized pieces, um, four ounces of the salt pork, and then place them in the oil and we're gonna let this fry up till it's a little bit crispy. To your oil, you wanna add a tablespoon of butter, because I'm looking for all the flavor in the world right now. And these potato pancakes are really, really, really extremely good. I promise you. So, let that melt down, and then go ahead and add your salt pork. Mmm, that's good. Okay, so basically what the salt pork is going to do, it's going to give this oil so much really awesome flavor. I can't tell you unless you try this, how good it's going to be. Then we're going to remove the salt pork because there's no need to keep it in there. You just want to get it so crispy. That's when it's going to render all of its goodness into this oil. And then we can start frying up our potato pancakes. So this is going to be a few minutes. So we'll be right back. Okay, see, as you can see, this is nice and crispy and put this onto a plate. And you can nibble at these, this is so good. Not exactly the best thing for you, but listen, you could just snap on, it's not gonna be that bad. Okay. Now we can get ready to fry up some sofrito pancakes. Okay, so here we go. We're ready to cut up some Asiago cheese to stuff inside of the pancake. Oh my Lord, it's gonna be good. Okay, so take some, make sure you wash your hands. Now this is gonna feel a little bit wet, but do not get scared. Add 
out. Stick the cheese inside. You can put two slices if you want. The more the merrier. Wrap it around. Come on over to the pan. Make sure that oil is nice and hot and we're gonna put it right in. And as you can see, I already started one and it's coming out perfect. And now just keep on going. You don't want them too close, maybe two inches apart. You don't want them running into one another. Okay, so I'm using a tablespoon. Put your cheese inside. Do another tablespoon on top. Put it together, make sure that oil is hot. Run on over and throw it in the pan. And keep on going. So they have cooked about two to three minutes each side. Take them off onto a paper towel. And you want to sprinkle them with salt, not too much, a little bit, as soon as they come out of the oil. This may be close to my favorite side dish so far. I just tried one of these suckers and they're so good. So this is our sofrito pancake, potato pancake stuffed with Asiago cheese. And um, I mean, they look so nice. They held together nicely. A slice of Asiago cheese in the center. Put another tablespoon of the potatoes over top. When they get into the pan, press them down. And look at how nice they are. Okay, so of course we need a dip, right? So I want you to place four ounces of cream cheese in a non-stick pan. that melt down. I'm going to add a third a cup of heavy cream to the cream cheese. Okay. So I want you to add four ounces of your Asiago cheese. And just let that melt down. Okay, this is the final moments that we've all been waiting for. Okay, so make sure you have a non-stick pan because I wouldn't like to see any of the disasters with these cheeses. But the Asiago and the cream cheese, I'm afraid to tell you that it works out lovely. So that took literally eight minutes on a medium-low heat. And uh, I'm going to plate this up. Mm. Okay, so here we go. Sofrito potato pancakes stuffed with Asiago cheese. And we just made a dipping sauce with Asiago cheese and cream cheese. And it's extraordinary. Oh my God, it's so good. Extremely good. Mm. So, I'm gonna sign out now. It's Veronica Gabrino from Mulligan Hill, New Jersey. Side dish for week two. Have a great day.